to join us. How are you today? Please put your name in the comments, say a hello, let us know how your day is going. We'll give you a shout out and baby too. The sunshine has just decided to come through the window. I had a beautiful lighting and the sun's just come out. So I'm going to start by reading a few comments while we have more and more of you join us. So let's start from the beginning. Caroline Williams, so glad we can bloom twice a week now. Yes, this is our first Tuesday afternoon. Um, lots of people wanted a, an afternoon session, so it's our first Tuesday. So happy Tuesday. Uh, Grace has been loving the Friday sessions. Hi, Grace. How are you? Thank you for that, Caroline. Leanne. Baby May from Standish is super excited for Bloom class today. Thank you so much for putting these on. You're welcome. Laura Edgar, best part of our week. Hi from Laura and Alice. Yay! Today is our first live Bloom class. Thank you, Susie and Baby Arthur. Oh, Susie and Baby Arthur. I've said this quite a few times my lives are nothing like a real live class so please don't judge my at-home antics on what you get in a real multi-award winning balloon baby class uh, near you uh, my leaders are beautiful and fantastic full of edgy and at home it's just not quite the same but we'll get there uh today's our first live class lovely hi louisa louisa there from oh the, the comments have shot up hi louisa Fiona, Delilah has just got up from her nap. Hi Delilah, wakey wakey, hope you're okay. Had a nice nap. I bet mummy wished she could have had a nap as well, don't you mum? Holly Ritchie, hi Holly. Afternoon from Holly and baby Charlie, ready to enjoy the class on mummy's last day of maternity leave. Oh, good luck for tomorrow. Hi, Steph and Penny in Wigan. Looking forward to the class again. Fantastic. Lovely to see you here. Hello from baby Ella and big brother Theo. Hello. Isabel, hi from Brianna. Liz Reagan, hi Liz. And Rosie's joining in for the first time. Hi, Rosie. Charlotte, hello from Charlotte and baby Henry in Wakefield. Hello. And one more comment and we'll make a start. Carla Robinson, hi from Odin in Stretford. Hi. Right, shall we make a little start? Going to introduce you to one of our friends here. We have been practicing at home here at Blue HQ to launch our new animal dance song which we're going to do on friday we were meant to do it last friday and the snake didn't arrive so this is our one of our little characters here i'm not here so join us on friday for our animal dance song Woo! okay so let's make a start with our time to wake up song this is a really really nice song that we do at the beginning of our busy bees class our busy bees classes are for six to 15 months and what it does it gives a real wake and a shape of our bodies it's good for body awareness teaching baby different areas of the body we're encouraging the motor skills as well 
encouraging them to make little first moves like baby claps, beeping noses, tickling tummies. So if you've got a younger baby under six months, of course you can join in as well. Help them just point out different areas of the body, move their hands together to make them clap. Okay, so we're going to start and I want to see who can hear the birdie. Who can hear the birdie? You it is. <laughs> Let's clap those hands, are you ready? Highlight of our week. Oh, lovely comments, Danielle. Thank you. Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. How are you? Hello from Bonnie and baby Evie. So happy this is on twice a week now. We love it. Oh, fantastic. That's lovely to hear. And Sarah Darling. Hi again from Sarah and Erin. Hi, Erin. Alice Tabs did the biggest smile when he heard the music. Yay. Lovely to hear. So, Today we have a very exciting competition that I'm going to announce at the end of this um, class. So stay tuned to the end because one of you could win a very special prize. So we'll talk more about that later, so stay to the end. Now, our next activity is going to be flying babies. So for this one, you will need a baby. And Grandma or Gramps, do you want to join in with this one? I think you might enjoy this one. Maybe Gramps might like to do it. Pick your baby up, pop your baby into the flying position. Now the flying position is another really nice way of doing tummy time. It helps strengthen baby's tummy muscles and they have a nice little view of the ground as well. So what we do is we put our hand under baby's, on baby's chest there, under the arms, and we're going to fly baby up in the air and down to the ground. Older babies love this as well. Older babies think it's real fun time and they like to start kicking their legs out. Um, but this is used in our Caterpillar Club class for our younger babies to help strengthen those muscles. Are we ready for some flying? Here we go. Oh, we're not ready for some flying because we're on shuffle. Here we go. Ready? Flying baby, fly so high. Flying baby. Touch the sky, flying baby, round and round, flying babies up and down, and down to the ground, flying baby, up you go, high above the world you know, flying babies, what you see, flying baby, fly. 
Like Holding baby now for a cuddle and go round in a nice little circle. our next song which is my baby loves to dance so for this one babes in arms again i'm sure you all know these ones by now but if it's your first time joining us in our classes we like to do this dance my baby loves to dance because firstly it re releases serotonin in our bodies and helps us feel much brighter and happier and i know particularly now with us all being in a lockdown it's really important that we do a little bit of self-care and try and help ourselves as much as possible. And we can do that with baby, and baby enjoys it too. When we are dancing with our babies, the benefits for babies, there's lots of them. So the fluid moves in their ears and goes from side to side. And when we stop and go to resting, it creates more neurons, which helps with baby's brain development. Also, baby can feel the rhythm of the music as we move they can feel the rhythm of the music through you and that's going to help with their early language skills there's lots and lots and lots of benefits for this activity so off the teddy standing up babes in hand and i want you to rock around your living room okay and i want to see some pictures of this one so if anyone's got people with them take some pictures please that'd be great are we ready for my baby loves to dance here we go everybody my baby loves to dance, dance, dance for everyone. My baby loves to dance, dance, dance for everyone. Safe within my hands, safe within my hands. My baby loves to dance. Standing on the spot now, lifting baby up in the air, and lots of eye contact. Dance up high, dance, dance for everyone. My baby dance up high. Where are we up to? There we go. Rachel Martin. Hi, 
out to all my Wigan and St Helens Blue Babies. Missing you all. Can't wait to get back to classes soon. Melty, baby Skylar might be snoozing, but Mammy is practicing her bloom skills ready for Friday's class. Brilliant. Love that. And Katie's first Bloom class. Hi, Katie. Hope you're enjoying it so far, Katie. Okay. Now, all our Bloom babies absolutely love, 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 love bubbles. So I'm going to get my bubble machine out now. If you've got any bubbles at home, feel free to use those. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to encourage our babies to use their pin cigarette and pop, pop, pop those bubbles. And we're going to encourage them to make the pop sound as well, which is going to help with their early language skills. So pop, pop, pop those bubbles. Are we ready for some blue bubbles? Where are those bubbles? Oh, I have got two pom-poms, fluffy, colourful and bright. 
I really love to shake them, shake them morning, noon and night. Oh, shake them like a rattle, shake them like a tambourine. Shake them long and be part of a boom, she needn't be. Oh, shake them on in your face and shake them in the air. Shake them round and round and round and shake them everywhere. Learn about the world around them. 
by tasting and touching things it's absolutely fine so this is encouraging the gross and fine motor skills we're going to do some body awareness so we're going to touch areas of baby's body with the shaker so younger babies if you mums you want to do it for baby and touch different areas of the body so really catchy song for those of you who haven't heard it before and all the music you can download online if you search bloom baby classes are we ready for our bloom baby shake we're ready as well. Evie is loving her bloom class. Hi Evie! Glad you're enjoying it. Charlotte Anderson Hughes, we have had our first giggles from baby Harry today whilst dancing some baby loves to dance. Fantastic. That's what I love to hear and that's the reason we are here. Fantastic. Thank you for another lovely class. It's great to have a little bit of normality in lockdown. Eliza has loved it. Oh fantastic. Thank you Samantha Higgins and Kaylee, hi from Kaylee and baby Raya. I think I've said that twice. Okay, are we ready now for? Oh, oh. Are we ready for our next activity? Here we go. So, if baby Dexter is watching us from Great Ormond Street Hospital, hope you're feeling better, Dexter. It's your favourite song. We've got our lummy sticks. You don't have to have a pair of these, anything that baby can hold and tap together. Okay, this activity is really good for early language skills. We're teaching them rhythm and tempo. So just encouraging them to tap along. Younger babies, even just holding their hands and moving the, the clays or the wooden spoons is really gonna help as well, okay? And we do different tempos, different speeds. We do it up in the air, so with a bit of direction. The bit of everything, so lots of learning for baby. Are we ready for our clicking on our sticks? Here we go. We're picking on our sticks. Hit them loudly, hit them proudly, click 
right Like a feather came together Clicking very quiet We're clicking really slow We're clicking really slow Slowly chiming Feel the timing Clicking really slow Now Gonna go really loud, blue babies. Are we ready? Lots of tapping. Good tapping. And we one more go. Well done. Fantastic. I hope you're all tapping along, enjoying that at home. Fantastic. Okay, so next, if you have a, a blanket, a blanket or a muslin, um, a cloth, anything that you can use as a peekaboo scarf, or you might already have one of these peekaboo scarves. Okay. Older babies, even toddlers and preschoolers love a game of peekaboo. So again, this is something that you can all do. It's also really nice for bonding and that's why we chose it at Blue. What we're going to do is we're going to pop the scarf over baby's face and encourage them to pull the scarf down themselves. Or you can put it over yourself and encourage baby to do a bit of hide and peekaboo with you. Okay, and younger babies, just whack the scarf over the baby and lots of smiles from mum or dad or whoever's doing it really really get lots of bonding going it's a lovely activity and it's a nice sensory feel as well as it goes over them so are we ready for some peekaboo nice fun one this song has lots of different tempos and speeds so I'll guide you along with it um, so first they have baby imagine she's sat on my knee and she's going to be facing me and we're going to bounce along on our knee and when when the Grand Old Duke of York had 10,000 men he marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again so I want you to lift them up in the air and back down again I'll guide you through it are we ready this, if you're at home doing this, 
really gets your legs burning at the top. It's a really good uh, little leg workout for mums and dads doing it as well. See if you feel the burn. Are we ready? There we go. Lots of bouncing. And then they marched up to the top of the hill and they marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up in the air. Woo! And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. And again, lots of bouncing. Thousand men. They marched them up to the top of the hill and they marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. Woo! And when they were down, they were down. Tickle, tickle. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Are your legs burning yet? And we're going faster. Oh, the Randall Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. They marched him up to the top of the hill and he marched him down again. And when they were up, they were up. Oh, yeah. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Well done. I hope your legs are okay with that one. Okay, so our last activity is going to be our Now We're Flying song. This is really good for younger babies to help strengthen those tummy muscles. It's a nice way of doing um, tummy time for babies who don't like, like being laid down on their tummies. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift the baby up in the air and back down again. Lots of eye contact, as if baby's flying. Older babies can do some soaring and flying. Lovely. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that session. I'm going to do some more shout outs before I tell you about our competition. Leanne Baby May from Standish's Soup. Oh, I'm started all the way at the top. You can tell I'm not used to this. Holly Ritchie, Peekaboo is Charlie's favourite. Peekaboo, Charlie. Okay. So, we have a lovely competition now for you all to join. Just James, hello Frankie and Kat in Wigan. Good vibes. Yes, good vibes. Good to see you. So, everybody now, um, we have a competition from our friends at Little Wild & Co. And they make beautiful, beautiful baby muslins and baby accessories. And we uh, have a competition now. And all you have to do is like this video, uh, obviously subscribe to the channel and comment down below, not in the comments here, underneath. So you need to have subscribed first. Drop a comment with your favorite part of today's class. And next Tuesday at our live class, one of those comments will be picked at random and they will win a £20 voucher to spend at Little Wild & Co. I'll drop the link here um, so you can have a look at all the beautiful things that they do. So at the end of this video, you have to subscribe, like and drop a comment of what your favourite part of today's class was. And next Tuesday, live on our next Tuesday live class, a winner will be announced, okay? So thank you everybody for joining us. Fiona, thank you, Delilah, loving your class. Hi, Delilah. Hopefully see you next week. Don't forget that on Friday, we have another live class at half past 10. Tomorrow, we have Workout Wednesdays from uh, Yoga Up Cat. She's gonna do a postnatal yoga class that you can do with your baby as well. So with or without baby, she can, it, 
there's different ways of doing it. Join us on our Bloom Wellbeing page for that one. Okay, that's it from now from me. I'm going to go back to some more homeschooling girls. No. No. Homeschooling, honey? No. No. Anna, homeschooling? I finished it. She's finished it. Oh, if only the dog finished it. Right, so from me and everybody at Bloom HQ, thank you. Don't forget, enter the competition, drop, <laughs> put a like. What do we say to our channel What are we when we're YouTubers? Like, subscribe and turn on those post notifications. Turn on those post notifications, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Like my channel, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Bye! Bye.